Hi everyone, Jopke here. Um, I'm going to try and make an art journal page on this piece of watercolor paper. I did try it before, as you can see. It uh, didn't work for me uh, back then, uh, it was a, quite a while ago. Uh, I had some uh, image uh, glue down and I used some modeling paste, I think, maybe some tape. And uh, so I decided to cover it up with black gesso and that was the Dina Wakely black gesso I used for this so today I'm going to try and um, make a nice page um, I have a bit of an idea in mind and that contains a big butterfly uh, I used this beautiful die cut uh, that I got from Sunny in Happy Mail uh, to uh, draw around uh, on a piece of white paper uh, so I could uh, cut it out for this. I will save this for a later uh, project. Um, I'm going to I think I'm going to cover this up with black gesso as well and then use the golden crackle paste and see how that will turn out. So, let's see what happens. And in the meanwhile, uh, it's been a couple of months because uh, today it is the 28th of July and when I did this video and created this art journal page, it was April. So, that's been a couple of months and I've been away for a little while because of renovations going on in our house. Um, I told you about it, I believe, in uh, uh, the latest video I did, which was also quite a while ago. Um, I had this um, on my computer uh, waiting uh, to be um, edited, so I thought let's do this and let's upload this video to my channel so you have something to watch but I have to say um, I'm starting to feel and get a bit of mojo back a bit of inspiration back I completely lost it because of the mess in our house uh, that is a thing I can't handle very well and uh, there was no place in the whole house, and we have a big house, where it was uh, comfortable to be in, uh, because it, it was all a mess. Uh, now we are getting to the end of the renovation, and a few needs, things need to be done. But hopefully then uh, it will be all ready and done, and I can tidy up and clean up and... Uh, feel uh, uh, a bit better again in my own house. Also my craft corner is gone. Um, I'm not sure if you remember I did a little video about my craft corner downstairs in our office. Well that is no longer uh, due to the renovate, uh, renovation, but also because it was too small. I had, I, my stash was getting bigger and bigger and I had no room to storage it. So uh, as I had a spare room upstairs, I decided to move in there, uh, which I did. Um, don't feel quite at home yet in this new craft corner, craft room but hopefully uh, that will come soon. So, um, as I said, I've been watching a few videos from my um, favorite artists again, and that is getting um, the fire burning uh, again. I feel some inspiration coming back, and um, hopefully uh, I will uh, get to start very soon with a new project and um, uh, for you to watch. So um, this video I had to watch from start to finish again um, before editing it because I hadn't had a clue what I all, uh, had done for this page. But as I told you, I used a piece of 
watercolored paper that I used before. There was some texture on it and I painted it with a black gesso. Also added some magazine a text uh, book uh, text pages. Um, there was a, with a big, uh, black background and a pink background, which I thought was a very nice color combination. So I used that for um, uh, as as the base of my page. And the butterfly I also gessoed with a black gesso and used a crackle paste. Um, to get an, a very nice texture and I use an acrylic paint and some water to uh, make it more interesting and um, uh, color the little cracks uh, um, of the butterfly uh, with, uh, with pink and this is a metallic paint that I use for the edges to give it a bit more um, of interest and I do the same, I believe, with uh, the page, the paper. Uh, I'm also going around the edges to give it a nice touch, really. And then this is a very thin wire I use for the butterfly, for the, uh, the, the, the tentacles. I'm not sure how you call it, but uh, I shape them with the little scissors and I glue, uh, stick them down on the back of the butterfly with uh, a small piece of tape. And then what is the next step? Using my Neo colors for some uh, splatters. This is a technique I picked up from uh, Mike Deacon. It's a great technique because you really can control where you want the splatters. Uh, you, you pick up a crayon and with a wet brush you just flick it. And that uh, you can go around your page there, page there where you want the splatters and it really is controllable. And I love this technique, really use it a lot. So um, now I am sticking down my butterfly and because I wanted to give the wings a bit of height, I use a, a thick double sided tape. And in the middle uh, I use the golden gel medium because that is just a great glue to use for heavier stuff. And I wanted the middle of the butterfly the, the body of the butterfly I wanted to uh, stick on the page and only the wings uh, uh, give a, more, uh, a bit more uh, height. So pushing it down and that is stuck. And then I'm using um, a little blingy thing uh, to glue down on the butterfly and uh, I printed out the text aim high. And I'm going around the edges with a black, um, a black uh, Faber-Castell um, artist pen, and I'm gluing it down with uh, Mod Podge, which I also keep in a little uh, bottle with a fine tip, so that makes it easier to use for smaller uh, objects to glue down. And then the battle of the white pens begins because I wanted to add the date and my signature with a white pen and I have them in different brands like Posca and the the, the Signo and they never work for me so I tried it a few times and it just didn't work and I ended up stamping down uh, the date and using a black um, fine liner pen on the pink part of my page so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video guys and i hope to be back very soon with brand new projects so stay tuned bye bye